Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel here on Jake's Gardening. And in today's video, um, speaking of which, what is today? I believe it's uh, May 11th. Uh, tonight, at least one of my pumpkin plants is going to be transplanted into the ground. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that somewhat soothing um, guitar while the time lapse was going. Um, right now, as you can see, um, but you might not be able to tell, I am setting up um, one of the pumpkin patches where one of my pumpkin plants is going to go. And this video is recorded on three different days. The first clip where you see me talking was recorded um, on May 11th, I 
think it was, as far as if I can remember. Um, the other clip with the time lapse was recorded on, on the 12th. And the final recording with the transplanting um, is on the 13th. So, enjoy. Okay, so uh, today I am transplanting one of my pumpkin plants into the ground. I have pre-dug a hole, although you may not be able to see it very well from your point of view. Um, I, and I also, for the transplanting, I have some worm castings. These are just, uh, you can just get them at your gardening store or Home Depot. That's where I got them from. Um, and I got some my mycorrhizae and azos to put in there too. Um, this is a fungus, it's beneficial. It acts like um, an extension of the pumpkin's roots. It's a little wilty right now because it was in the heat of, it was in the sun. Uh, it'll be fine because I got it under the shade now. Um, and then this is a beneficial uh, bacteria. It's a nitrogen fixer. Um, it breaks down uh, the nitrogen that is in a form that the plant can't use, and it it tur ch turns it into nitrate, which is a form of nitrogen that plants are able to use. So, um, without uh, further jibber jabber from me, let's get to planting. As you can see, it's a fairly healthy plant, although the leaves are a bit flimsy. It's not been exposed to the elements very much. So, first order of business is I need to get it some water before I take it out of the pot just to help kind of hold the root ball together. Take out the barbecue skewer pencil that I was using for the same purpose as the barbecue skewer. And then we grab the bag. This part's always so. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of gently get my hands under this. Ooh, the roots are kind of coming off a bit. 
I'm gonna put it in there just like that. I did damage the roots a little bit. I do recommend trying to be a little bit more careful. Uh, now I'm gonna get mycorrhizae, sprinkle it all around in there. I was using a kind of flimsy bag and it kind of tore a little bit when I was um, when I was uh, taking it out, so it kind of damaged the root ball. Hope the plant should be able to. The plant should be okay. I didn't really hurt hurt it too badly. I don't think. Sprinkle some of the azos in there. Direct getting direct root contact to ensure uh, proper. Uh, well, I guess to help it work better. Um, then I'll get my worm castings. See, it's nice, black, good, rich uh, stuff. And I'll just sprinkle it in uh, with the plant root ball, just like that. And then I'll fill in some more of the dirt. Can we use that dirt over here? I could use some of the potting mix, seeing as I have it. And this plant uh, didn't do a very good job of orienting, orientating it. Get skewer, kind of hold it in place. Now I'll mix some more worm castings in there. And I'm gonna kinda go a little heavy with them. Just to give the plant a little bit better nutrients. Than it. Just some soft nutrients, not some not like um, chemical fertilizers because those can be a little harsh, especially on plants that have been freshly uh, transplanted because their roots have not settled in yet. Oh boy, I think I did a kind of terrible job of tra transplanting this. I did a way better job last year. Um, so I'm going to get this backfilled. Just take dirt from all around and kind of scoop it into the hole. Don't want to bury the leaves. This plant had a lot of trouble because it was in the pot for so long. Um, it's, it's a plant that's over a month old, so uh, it's been in the plant pot for way too long. I did want to put it in about three weeks ago, but I never got the opportunity. So now I'm just going to take this and put it over the top, give it some protection from the wind and my chickens. Um, stick this rebar through the hole. Shove that in there. Just want to hold the plant in place. I mean, the, the protection in place. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job with just that one. Kind of fill in the dirt around the edges so that it doesn't, the wind can't really go underneath. This was a very sloppy transplanting job. I wish I had done a little better. That's it, good, you'll be alright. Like I had done last year. Um, so now, I'm just going to water in, not worry about getting the leaves wet really. Just want to get the plant, the water, and the, mo the moisture it needs. The soil is kind of hydrophobic, even though it's been sprinkled a lot recently. I'm going to give it this entire can.
Although that was a rough transplant, um, it should be okay. Um, I'll just give it some time and it should do fairly well. So, that's about it. Catch you next time.